talking to you from Laguna Beach, California. It's so nice out here. There's about five seals over there near the cove. It's such a beautiful day. So as we begin, last week we talked about how compassion is seeing and welcoming, right? Today, we've learned that compassion helps us to be brave. Being brave sometimes doesn't mean you don't know what will happen when we show up, right? The friend who was paralyzed didn't know if his friends would help him. He didn't know if he was going to get to see Jesus. The friends didn't know what would happen when they got to the house where Jesus was speaking. Maybe they would get into the house and the religious leaders or Jesus would turn them away. But they were brave, their friends, and they had compassion towards their paralyzed friend. Maybe the paralyzed friend wouldn't receive their miracle healings. Compassion helps us to be brave. A friend who was paralyzed had the courage and helped him and trusted his friends and asked Jesus for help. The friend's courage made them determined to do all that they could to help him. Jesus' courage showed the friend who was paralyzed that he was loved and he was accepted. Jesus loves and accepts us, right? Oh, it's so hot out here. <laughs> we can be brave because we are filled with God's love. And God always promises that he will be with us. So, as we conclude today, I want us to reflect and I want us to see people who are sad, see people who are happy, lonely, and scared, and know that we can feel that they, what they are feeling because we have compassion. That is our empathy. That's the first step, is to act with our empathy. We follow Jesus' example of compassion, right? He has compassion towards all his children, those who, who come to him and want to seek him. That's why the, the paralyzed man was, was, was healed in that moment, because the Lord had compassion, because they knew that he was the answer for their healing. They knew that... Jesus had the power. Sometimes it is about helping someone and it could be really hard. Sometimes it is about being honest about who we are and what we need. Sometimes compassion of being brave is about showing love and acceptance for the person right in front of us. So, these things can be hard. It can be hard to be brave. But we can trust God, most importantly, who gives us the courage to be brave with our, our, our compassion, right? So let us close the same way that we always do. We're going to put one hand on our hearts and one hand on our head because we know that compassion starts with our brains and that we feel it in our hearts. So this is the prayer I want you to say, right? I'm holding the phone with this hand so I can't put my hand on my head, but I want you to put your hand on your head and put one hand on your heart, okay? And repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, your compassion always looks like courage. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery. As we risk, reach out and lift up. Our siblings near and far, help us keep our eyes on you always. Amen. Okay, everyone, I want you to have a good day. Once you know that I'm thinking about you and I'm praying for you.
Be brave today, okay? Let's sing this song in the next video.